Irish pearl mask is always something special. Just kind of simple and nothing uh, crazy, but I think it came out with like a nice clean look. They didn't want anything too, I guess, exotic on the helmet, you know, and uh, just kept it simple with the, uh, you know, the different kind of uh, ocean scenes and whatnot. When I designed it, I really wanted to put the logo on the top just of uh, San Jose. I always think that's uh, a bit of a clean look and classic like most guys used to have it on top. On top it starts with the water. Uh, I think I really like the top, like the, just the way he did it and uh, asked him to uh, fade it as it's like the ocean gets darker and uh, we came up with the idea of uh, putting a couple uh, girls swimming just for uh, I mean California and girls and things like that so it uh, turned out really cool and then the sharks in the background just kind of stick with the theme of being underwater and all that stuff and uh, the artist came up with the back plate I uh, I just said to do whatever he wanted on the back I uh, it came out pretty cool with a sunset kind of idea on the front just the uh, Shark's logo with the uh, kind of chrome. Um, David Arrigo, we uh, we had contact through San Jose. He did um, Nidamaki's mask, and then uh, they asked if I'd be interested in using him too. So he was great to work with, and uh, yeah, we came up with a pretty cool idea. I did a few in uh, junior, just threw around ideas, but now I, I had... Uh, David's uh, email and we must have sent about 10 or 15 emails back and forth with different ideas and it's pretty hard to think of things because every day you'll think of something different and want to throw it in there so eventually he just I just told him to do it because I was coming up with way too many ideas. I gave it a green light to Edmonton. I didn't know uh, exactly where I'm going to play or where I'm going to end up, so I didn't want to do something. So they just uh, did that pain. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't see it until uh, I came to the, the training camp. So the only part that I really, I really had a word in it is probably the back plate where uh, I took uh, part of personal thing, like family and those stuff, and uh, the logo in the back or. Uh, I really hit to family or Edmonton. Well, it's my dad, Rene, my mom, Susan, and my girlfriend, Mary, and my sister, Leonie. So that's the four then, and then you got my grandmother to the left, and uh, the Edmonton logo to the right. I've kind of kept it simple, I guess, the last couple of years. I'm going to a guy in Minnesota, Todd Miska. He's done uh, all my helmets since junior, so it, uh, you know, I'm happy with his working, he does a good job. And uh, you know, obviously put a shark on there and uh, my number, but uh, other than that, it's pretty simple. I don't know, it's just a guy, I guess, in the ocean, some tough weather, fighting the elements, but uh, you know, I left it pretty open. I just kind of gave him a general idea of the artist and uh, he kind of ran with it and you know, he did a pretty good job. Uh, no, I usually wear him for the year. I don't know, I just, just actually moved into this one. I had this one all last year, I just didn't want to switch into it and uh, I'll wear it as long as I can. I'm, not uh, one of those guys that's huge on, you know what I mean, into the paint job and all that. You know, whatever it is, it's fine, and uh, it's, uh, I'm happy with it. He did a good job, so. First time I had an Edmonton mask, it's going to be always special. I hope the fans can see it from when I'm on the ice surface, and I like it a lot.